Daniel, you have the floor. Thank you, Thank you President Trichet. Um, I'll try to be very brief with the, with the matrix of what I see as major developments, ongoing developments in, in the global space. Uh, some of them I touched upon last year, but it seems to me that they are more visible nowadays uh, as an age of major, major, huge disruptions. And it, 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 seemingly it's, um, it's an increasingly wild world, uh, lacking order and um, with a lot, a lot of fragmentation and, and dissonance in, in many respects, massive erosion of multilateralism. It's like an earthquake, which is happening uh, in view of what has prevailed after the Second World War, um, the so-called liberal international order, currency and trade wars, uh, an erosion uh, of the transatlantic relationship, which is uh, quite dismaying for Europeans, but also for Americans. Um, Geopolitics very much on, on the agenda and, um, and the confrontation with the United States and, uh, and China. I mean, to listen to one former European prime minister to say that we are threatened to, to turn into a colony, either of the United, I mean, that, that is mind boggling. I mean, I, 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 the, the wording is quite, uh, I, I think it, that was not adequate, totally inadequate. It's like saying that Australia is, is, is a colony or New Zealand, and, and those countries are not members of the European Union. I mean, I, I mean, one has to be a little bit wiser, I mean, especially having a background as a former prime minister. I, I'm, I'm very candid with you. Um, now, the shift of economic power, that's, which is inexorable, and I, I believe that at the end of the day, Americans and Chinese have to strike a deal for the sake of global common goods. Uh, fourthly, uh, there is a sense of desperation, and, and um, think about um, central banks under pressure. Um, thinking again, I mean, a new round of QEs. Think again of, of uh, major fiscal stimulus, and it's true, as Olivier Blanchard said, we are, we have a different regime now with the neutral rate. Uh, uh, very low, it's true, but, but I'll, I'll make a, 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 a fundamental distinction in, in, in this respect. What central banks of reserve uh, providing uh, uh, countries can do, emerging economies cannot do. So it's, it's, it's a different ball game. Um, uh, shadow banking, and I'll get back to it when I have more time, but shadow banking poses enormous systemic risk. And I'm asking myself who's going to provide uh, the land of last resort function capital markets. Um, just keep in mind what happened with, in the repo market uh, in, uh, in the United States uh, um, lately. Um, now, um, climate change, I agree. It's also about uh, capitalism, our economic systems. It is very much true, but it's also something which is uh, crippling our banking sectors, huge exposure to sectors which are going to be impacted negatively by uh, by climate change. Um, climate change is an ex existential threat, probably more than artificial intelligence, and I fully agree that. And, and I, I agree that the, the business models have to change, and I, I welcome the letter of the 130 CEOs, but I don't know how much hypocrisy is there, whether they, they realize that something has to change, that the, uh, uh, companies have to respond to stakeholders, not only to shareholders. Um, so it's, in our society, it's too much of a winner's take all game, the way our economic systems would function. And ultimately, that's going to bring democracy down. And, uh, and, and, and this is the fundamental threat uh, we are facing. Whether you are a right-winger or a left-winger, <laughs> it doesn't matter. If you believe in democracy, you have to do something about it. Okay, I'll stop at it. Uh, I have more to say about digital. Li Libra, for me, it's a huge challenge, a huge challenge. If parallel currencies are going to proliferate, central banks are going to lose control of their monetary policies. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you indeed very, very much, uh, Daniel. I take it that uh, one of the connection between what you said is that uh, in the McCartney analysis, where uh, those entities, uh, private entities, uh, public entities that would miss the enormous transformation that are coming might create 
financial risk of first magnitude. And uh, this is another way, negative way, to look at uh, what's happening and uh, the addition of uh, various financial risks.